Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Today, we are going to create this. So let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. Let's call it Deadpool 2 Title Animation. As you can see, I am using a 1920 by 800 resolution, just to achieve a widescreen look. Also, I am using a frame rate of 24 frames per second. And for the sake of this tutorial, let's make it 10 seconds longer. Perfect. The first step is to import these files into your project, you can download them from the link in the description. Now select this background image, and place it on the timeline. Let's adjust the size of it. Select your layer, and then press S, to open scale. And then change the scale value to 75%. Now, place the background music onto the timeline, if you press L double time, you can actually see the waveform of it. This is useful while working with audio files. Let's place the starting point of this music here, so that we can make it shorter. Ram preview it, and see if the music placement is ok. Yes, this music can work. Let's add the text to it. Go to the tools, and select text tool. We are going to add the text on top of all layers, so select this image layer, and start typing your text. You can download this font from the link in the description. Now select the move tool, and align your text to the center. Take the text tool again by pressing Ctrl plus T, and here type the second text as well. Make sure to add your text on individual layers. Adjust the size of both text layers, so they won't look too huge, or small. You can place the text position to anywhere, but for this tutorial, I'm going to place it in the center. Make sure to align them perfectly to the center. Cool, this looks good to me. Now, place this texture layer behind this season text layer. Here we are going to mask out this text shape, from this texture layer. For the same, we need to use track mat. If your track mat tab is not here, then press F4 to switch between. In case, your F4 key has vanished, after the finger snap of Thanos. Then right click here, go to the columns, and select modes. And then, change none to alpha mat. Now we have this texture applied to our text layer. Again, place this same texture layer below this text layer, and do the same with it. Great. Now select these two layers, right click on it, and choose pre-compose. Let's call it season and then hit OK. Do the same with these both layers as well. We are keeping our text layer into a separate comp, just to make sure the project is more organized. Cool. Now go to the effects and the presets, and here search for the curve effect. Apply it onto the layer. And let's adjust a few settings. Grab this point, and drag it to the right, also, change this top position, to get this kind of look. You can always open this comp, and change the texture position, to achieve a different look. Select the top layer, and apply the same curve effect to it. 
Do the same with this curve value as well. And now our text should look like this. Do the final changes, and now we are moving to the next step. It's time to animate it. If you press plus key on your keyboard, you can zoom into the timeline. Here you can clearly see these waveforms. In case these waveforms are not visible, make sure to press L double time on your keyboard. Now we are going to arrange the text according to this waveform. My first text should be here. As you can see, I am placing my text starting point at the higher waveform, because it is the point where our music beats are changing. And the second text here. Press minus, to zoom out a little. And then RAM preview it. Cool. My text appearance is matching with the beats. Let's add this lens dirt image on top of all layers. And change its mode to screen. Again go to the effects and the presets. And here search for the hue and saturation effect. Apply it onto the same layer, and then click this colorize option. Now our layer has colors. Let's color match this layer with our background layer. So they both look same in color. Now we are going to animate it. But before, we have to make them all a 3D layer. Make sure your switch tab is visible. In case you don't find it, right click here, go to the columns, and select switches. Click on this cube icon, to make the layer a 3D layer. Now our all layers are 3D. Let's minimize them, and then select the top layer. Press P to open position, and change the last position value to negative 1000. Then press S, to open scale, and change the scale value, so that it will be the same size as before. Cool. Now select this season layer, and then change its last position value to negative 500. Also, adjust the size to make the size look like before. Let's animate it. Create a new camera. I am using a 50mm preset. Go to the first frame, press P, to open camera position, and then add a keyframe on it. Go to the last frame. And here increase the last position value to around 1500 pixels. Check the animation, and here we have this nice looking camera animation. Cool. This looks good to me. Now we are going to do the hardest part of this tutorial. But before, make sure to play the song, to get an idea where are the beats. Perfect, now we have an idea, where our beats are changing. Now create a new null object, and let's call it camera controller. Make sure to make it a 3D layer as well. Now, parent this camera layer to this null object, to get some more controls over the camera. You can do this simply, by this parent tab. In case this is not visible, then right click here, go to the columns, and select parent. Now grab this per quick, and then drop it onto the camera control layer. You can always parent lays by choosing the target layer from this list. Select the camera control, and press P, to open position. Go to the time position where the second beat happening, and then add a keyframe on it. Go to around 15 frames forward, and then increase the last position value by 75. Now we are going to add next keyframes according to our audio waveform. Go to the position where you can see the higher waveform, and then, add a keyframe by clicking here. 
Now move forward to 15 frames. And then change the position value. Ramp review this, and see if you are going nicely. In my case, my next beat is changing here, so let's place these keyframes in this position. If you press and hold the control key, and drag the mouse, you can hear the beats. So, use this method, and see which is going to be the next beat for you. I found it here, so let's add another keyframe here, and the repeat the same step. You can use the same method for each beat changing moment. You should try this with a different song as well. I am just showing you the way, the destiny is yours. Make sure your camera movement matches with the beats. Else, it won't look that much attractive. For the last beat, I am going to increase the position value extremely, so that the screen will disappear. You are always free to implement your own ideas. Ramp review this and see if you like it. Cool, this looks good to me. Now select all keyframes, right click on it, go to keyframe assistant, and easy ease them. Now the last step. But before, let's minimize all the layers. Now create a new light. I am using a point light for this. With an intensity of 100%. And then hit OK. As soon as you create the light, you will see that the lens dirt layer is not visible at all because the light layer is automatically placed behind this layer, so go to the light, and here you will see, it says, Z. Click and drag to the right, to change its Z position. And leave it to the point where you can see the lens dirt layer. This light is used to create a vignette effect to it. Place this layer below the camera layer, to organize the project. Ramp preview this, and our animation is complete. I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching this tutorial, have a good day.